what's up YouTube so right now while we wait for our parts to come in um, waiting for the K tuner waiting for some other exterior accents um, intake exhaust I actually have some coilovers that I ordered as well um, we're gonna just kill a little bit of time today and we're gonna put on the Crux Motorsports tail light smoke kit. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna show you guys what this is going on. Of course, you already know. It is 2018 Honda Accord. Don't worry about the license plate because that's getting changed. So all y'all can't try to sell my vehicle. Um, but I'm gonna just do uh, a real basic uh, tutorial how to apply them. Honestly, they're dummy proof. They are supposed to be bubble free. So you apply the film, it's already got a sticky side. And on my vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the clear section right there. So I'm going to get into it. Um, I'm going to disassemble this. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like, um, what comes in the box, steel sealed. And then I'm going to show you the install of it. Um, and then that'll be it. So let's go ahead and try to open this. Inside the kit, 20% off for those of you that want it. Take 20% off of these films. Um, basic instruction, which is good. You know, us guys typically, we just go ahead and assemble without reading the instructions. You get a Crux Moto decal, business card, just in case. And then you get the film. So. These are the tail light pieces right here. Air release test piece film. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can see the little dimples. Those dimples allow the air to release out of here. So this is all the stuff you get in the kit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just try to apply them. I may set up my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to apply this film right here. First piece down.
So side one's done. What did that take, like two minutes? Pick up the camera and you guys check this out. Now again, it's a, it's a pretty easy fit if you've ever applied a, like any sort of screen protector to a phone, you are gonna lay one side down. I chose this side first just because of where the, there's a crevice here that you can feel. So I laid it down in there first and you're just gonna basically just lay it and let it just apply itself and just keep kind of pushing as you're laying down the film and then it meets this gap right here, perfect. Same thing right here, um, if you look at this right here, the lot, there's not really a line there. It just kind of like, it goes from having a ridge and then just kind of flattens out. So you just gotta kind of lay it down, pick your sections. Again, that took me like two minutes. There's no bubbles in the film whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna film the other side and then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what the vehicle looks like with it on, as far as lights go. See how I'm smoothing it out? The film is just applying itself. Now what I'm doing now is I'm using my fingernail and I'm running it right through the gaps just in case there's any material. I mean these things are laser cut but just in case. I do see a little bit of material hanging over in certain sections so I'm just going to run my fingernail through make sure it's adhered to the tail light.
There you go, guys. So let's take a look again. And the reason why I chose smoke, if I honestly, if I could have, I might, I may have got this uh, a little bit darker. Um, but I definitely wanted to color these darker just because I like the way this stands out. This piece right here is not my favorite. If I could somehow delete that or even cover it with some sort of vinyl wrap, I would. However, there is a light in there, so no point in messing with safety. This is what it looks like. Um, and if you can't tell already the theme of the car, it is going to be black and white. Uh, my previous BMW that I had... It was a 2014 550i, and I ended up trading that in because the factory warranty was expiring. And, uh, you know, I saw, I saw real estate. Uh, something that I wanted was, you know, something that's a little bit more economical on gas, because that thing was a twin turbo V8. Um, but all in all, I mean, I, I love the power that this little thing puts down. It's great on gas. So let me turn the lights on for you. Guys, so I'm gonna bring it out in the daylight. Oh, you can kind of see what it's like in the daylight. Right now, the hazards are flashing. That's it, that's what it looks like.